today we learn about the regression analysis before that you saw already you got my videos where we learn correlation now next topic is the regression analysis so what is the regression analysis regression analysis if the scatter diagram that i explained you already earlier so in the scatter diagram indicates some relationship between two variable x and y then the dots of these scatter diagram are concentrated around a curve which is known as curve of correlation means curve of sorry regression regression means the, uh, it gives a curve shape of given data so it means it is a method to use estimating the unknown values of a variable corresponding to the known value of the other variable so if we have one known value so corresponding other unknown value we can easily if we plot a curve that is a line or any shape of curve we can calculate very easily so next is the line of regression what is line of regression as we i earlier told you that the there is a curve of regression so if that curve is a straight line that is called line of regression when curve is of regression is a straight line that is called line of line of regression is two types one is y on x another is x line of regression x on y so what are the difference the line used to estimate the value of x of given y is called regression line of y on x so this is the first line clear second the line used to estimate the value of y for the given value of x is called the regression line x of y so there are two lines when we have x given we calculate y that is y on x x on y and another is y on x so now if in case of perfect correlation are there in the given data of x and y then when perfect correlation then both line coincide coincide or we can say both are the same means both line curve are same there is no difference between these two lines another when r r is what r is the re, uh, correlation coefficient so when r decrease from 1 to 0 means value of r is maximum 1 so if r decrease from 1 and going to near to 0 then the angle between regression line increase both regression line angle between increase from 0 to 90 corresponding to r and second if r is 0 if r is 0 then both line are perpendicular they have 90 degree each other so this is the line of regression relationship between the r coefficient of correlation and the line of regression now next we proceed how to find line of regression is the two regression lines if curve is given in the form of y is equal to a plus bx then regression line is whatever the curve when we draw that is called y on y x and then we from the center we minimize the distance similarly if curve is in another form a is equal to a plus b y then this regression line is called x on y so from this if we represent the relation between them then y minus y bar y bar is the mean equal to r x x minus x bar x bar is mean r is the correlation coefficient sigma y and sigma x is the variance which we learn already how to derive so if i say this is called b y x so my line equation become y minus y dash is b y x x minus x bar so this is where x is the mean value of given data x y is the mean value of given data y r is the correlation coefficient 
Similarly, another form is x minus x bar equal to b x y. What is b x y? I will state it here. Is another form. So, what is b x y? b x y is r sigma of x upon sigma of y. The reverse value from b by x, which is first come up, which is second come down. Here b x y, so sigma x upon sigma y. So, this is the regression line for y on x. This is regression line for x on y. Clear? So, now I will proceed with some examples how to solve. Then you will better understand. Then I will dictate some properties of the regression coefficient. I will just read. The correlation coefficient is geometric mean between the regression coefficient means the relation between the correlation coefficient and the regression line is a gp product of the geometric mean second if one of the regression coefficient is greater than unity unity means one the other must be less than one if one is greater than one other is this is called regression coefficient if one is greater than one other is definitely less than one third the arithmetic mean arithmetic mean of regression coefficient is greater than always of correlation coefficient so arithmetic mean is always greater fourth the regression coefficient are independent of change of origin but not of scale they are independent to change origin but the scale they are not independent to the scale fifth if x and y are independent the regression coefficient are zero if both are in independent then regression coefficient are zero if at least one depend to the another so one is dependent variable always another is the independent variable so we will proceed with the example how to solve this regression lines example example is the following data regarding the height which consider as y and the weight consider as x of 100 student given x equal to summation of x all x weight of 100 students summation is 15000 summation of y means height of all student is this square y square x y all this is given they say find the correlation coefficient between height and weight and the equation of regression height on weight means y on x so we do step by step we have all the formulas first one what is mean mean is summation x divided by total number of the data so total number of student is 100 so summation x divided by n so 15,000 divided by 100 is 150. This is 6800 divided by 100 is 68. Now, variance, covariance of x is summation x square by n minus summation x by n whole square in the square root. This formula we already learned in the correlation video. So, we substitute the value. All we have summation x square n is 100. This is our n so n is 100 when you substitute you will get the value is 15 similarly when you substitute all values here you will get it is 2.5 next is correlation coefficient correlation coefficient is given by summation x y upon n minus x bar y bar upon variance covariance of x covariance of y Substitute all the values when I substitute sigma xy is 102250 divided by 100 minus summation x is 150 times summation y is 68 divided by 15 times 2.5. Clear? When we calculate then r is given by 0.6. So, first step is complete, R is 0.6. Next is 
now the regression of y on x okay so regression of y on x is what regression of y on x is y minus y bar b y x so b y x is r sigma y upon sigma x sigma y upon sigma x minus x bar so you substitute all the values y minus y bar y bar is 68 equal to r is 0 0.6 sigma y rho y variance is 2.5 upon 15 x minus x bar x bar is 150 x bar is yes 150 when you simplify you will get the line of y on x y minus 10 y equal to x plus 530 so answers are here first is the correlation coefficient r second is the equation of regression line height on weight means y on x so y on x is this given by this so this is the first example proceed to another example example the reverse process now if they give the regression line and tell to find the other values for example the following regression equation we obtained from the correlation table regression line y on x is y equal to 0 0.516 x plus 33.73 regression line x on y is given by this so they say now find first is r r is correlation coefficient second is mean of x x bar third is mean of y is y bar so from these two lines using these two lines how we calculate these values i will show you so solution first line of y is this another is this so slope of first line okay slope means y is equal to mx plus c so m is the slope so slope is given by r sigma y by sigma x for second line slope we can say this is m1 this is m2 slope of another line is r sigma x by sigma y this value is this 0 0.516 our M2 is 0 0.512. Now we can say M1, M2, M1, M2. What is the M1, M2 is equal to, what is this? See here, R sigma Y by sigma X, R sigma X by sigma Y. When we multiply, Y cancel Y. So M1, M2 given by R square. So this time this R square is 0 0.512 times 0 0.516. Then what is R? R is square root of this which is given by 0 0.514. So this is the R correlation coefficient. So how to find if we have both lines you can find the slope M1 and M2. When you multiply M1 into M2 it gives R square. So M is square root of M1 M2. Next, we have to find the mean for x bar and y bar. So, we can say both the equation can pass through from the point x bar and y bar because it's the mean point. Mean is the center. So, x bar and y bar is lie on the both lines. So, we can rewrite both line again. y bar is equal to 0 0.516 x bar plus 33.73 second is x bar equal to 0 0.512 y bar plus 32.52 when you solve these two lines in terms of x and y you will get the value of mean so x bar is 67.6 and y bar is given by 68. 6, 1. So, this is the mean value. How to find the mean value? You just calculate the value x bar and y bar. That point is satisfied. Both the equations substitute that point and solve for x bar and y bar. You will get for today. Thank you very much.